Welcome to the channel. It's always good to be here with you. I'm glad you're here. If you're a subscriber, I love you to death. You make the best comments. I really appreciate you. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button right now. Anything positive or negative, just don't do any cursing, and we'll respond, and we'll get into it. Colorado is in trouble. No way around it. They're in free fall, and there is no bottom to this well. There's not. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm talking about. The recruiting. Last year, Coach Prime came in in the middle of the season, the recruiting season. No, no groundwork with no players, nowhere, nothing. He was able to manufacture the 20th ranked class in the country through the portal, through high school, through grad transfers. And that was an absolute gem and a miracle to be able to pull that off in such a short window. But he did it with a lot of hope and hype. Now, after a long, tumultuous season of tremendous highs and valleys that just, I mean, just seemed like they never ended, the recruits have said, ah, I'm not so sure. So as the season has progressed, Coach Prime has only been able to get the recruiting as low as 63rd in the country. That's a far cry from 20. Then you put on top of that that the latest recruiting polls show that they are now ranked 69th. So they're falling in the polls. Then you look at places like 247 and On3 Sports. These are the recruitment cycle companies that track the recruits, where they're going, who's on this short list, the interviews of what they think of the coaches and the program and the system, and who is their favorite team where they most likely will commit to. Now, let's forget the wide receivers and all that stuff. No one cares about that. This program needs linemen. Well, out of all of the linemen, Colorado is not their favorite. There is not their, you know, number one choice. They're not saying that. Well, they're keeping Colorado on the loop, but they're falling. They're in their top seven or eight. Colorado is no longer in the one, two, three category where they got a real shot at them, and the kids are saying that. You look at the other schools, you know the names, Ohio State, Michigan, Florida, Georgia, uh, LSU, FSU, blah, 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 blah. They all have three, four, five, five stars, four stars on campus at one time, and they are all the linemen, the most valuable and sought-after commodity in the football game. Colorado has zero, zilch, none. They have no commitments from any of them. They don't have one, according to these circuits, that has even had them as their favorite to commit to. This is a bottomless well that if you fall into, your program's over. If he goes one cycle without a handful of five stars, one cycle without a handful of of these really big beasts up front on offense and defense, this program's dead. That simple. He won't make it, and he'll be out. Because, see, it takes one to start a trend. I'll tell you about all that kind of stuff in the other videos. You got to do one before you do two, before it becomes a trend. He goes this early in the game, after the first come-on season in the recruiting, he goes to very next cycle with none of these big men. It's over. Coach Prime will be out of there in less than five years because the recruits at that point will never come because they follow each other. This is, this is what they do. And when they say, nah, that's okay, I'm going to go over here, then they all go, nah, I'm not going there either. I'm going to go somewhere else. Colorado's in a free fall, and Coach Prime needs a miracle in here now. He needs, I, I don't know how he's going to do it. I don't know what he needs to do. But they're in a free fall right now. 20 to 63 to 69. 
absolutely no offensive line commitments, no zero, none. They have him as their favorite to commit to. They're in trouble. And I am really, I'm really starting to believe that the machine has just done their job and they have chased away all the kids. So I'm going to keep my eye on this. You keep your eye on this. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you got some solutions here. Tell me if you know something that I'm missing. Tell me something about these recruits and these cycles that I don't know. Because if you got some positive news, I want it. I want it desperately. So I'll talk to you later.